I'm going to go over how to use your Kubota BX with a stationary PTO. What the stationary PTO is used for is for an implement where you're not going to be moving the tractor around, but it is PTO driven. The most common implement for a stationary PTO is a chipper. Other implements that it can be used for are a generator or a concrete mixer. First thing I'm going to do is place wheel chocks in front and behind of both rear wheels on the tractor. Now that I have the wheel chocks in front and behind of both rear wheels on the tractor, I'm going to check and make sure that the parking brake is set. You can see it's set. Then we're going to move the rain selector on the hydro into neutral. Then on the PTO selector on the tractor, the tractor is currently in mid PTO. I'm going to move it down to rear. Stationary PTO is only for use with the rear PTO. If you have the tractor in mid end rear or mid PTO, the engine will die. So now that the tractor is in neutral on the hydro, of course with the brake locked, wheels chocked, or on rear PTO, I'm going to go ahead and start the tractor. Speed the tractor up to about 1700-1800 RPMs. You have to flip the seat up, grab the latch left side of the seat. Now you're ready to engage the PTO. Now if the tractor is not in neutral on your hydro range selector, the engine will die once the PTO is engaged. If the seat is not flipped up when you engage the PTO, the engine will die. And if it is not in rear PTO, the engine will die. This procedure is not limited to a Kubota BX, it is very similar on all Kubota tractors. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. In the comments section below, let me know what implements you use your tractor in the stationary PTO mode for. And please hit the subscribe button.